It's my great pleasure now to introduce uh, one of Kentucky's greatest defenders of liberty. And she walks the walk as well as talking the talk. How many of you know a lot of people talk the talk? But there's a difference in walking the walk. And so I, I'm with great pleasure today introduce the chairman of the board of directors of the Bluegrass Institute, one of the hosts of today's event, Ms. Kathy Gornick. Please welcome her to the platform today. Thank you very much, Jim, and thank you everyone for being here today. I don't care what your religious affiliation is or what your political affiliations are or for that matter any other affiliation but I know that this group today is here because we all love liberty. We are here because we are proud to be Americans a country so blessed with the genius of the founders who enshrined in a document called the Constitution the protection of our individual rights, the sovereignty of us as individuals to live our lives as we choose to live them. Right. So, as chairman of the Bluegrass Institute for Public Policy Solutions, I welcome you, I thank you. We are a nonpartisan group who is here to care about your liberties. We are a very broad tent in that regard. So we thank you for being here a part of this important day to give voice to our protest to the government that they are bankrupting this country. We are here to say, you must stop. You must stop now. And we can begin right here in Kentucky by signing a petition that tells Governor Bashir we do not want any of the bailout money. The money doesn't exist. It will come from your children, your grandchildren, and your great-grandchildren. Furthermore, it is an indignity to human beings who do not wish to be dependent upon the state or a ward of the state. Our dignity as human beings depends on our ability to stand on our own two feet and furthermore, we are the only solution that there is to the problem. So, help us by signing that petition, and if you can, support the Bluegrass Institute and any other like-minded liberty group, we would greatly appreciate it. Before I introduce our next speaker, I want to point to this pile of papers here. Does anybody know what it is? Okay. It includes the tax code, which was one of the answers I heard up here. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, this is somewhere in the vicinity between 80 and 85,000 pages of the Federal Register, which is the rules, are the rules, that govern your life. I know that you, when you got up this morning, you read through it very carefully so that you are compliant with all the laws and regulations governing your life. We actually look at that thing in disgust. Right. The Founding Fathers have a little booklet that in my purse is only 26 pages long. That's all we needed were a few principles. Individual rights, pri private property rights, rights of contract, freedom of religion. Everything else is nobody else's business. That pile tells you they want to make it their business. So we're here to express our dismay and disgust at a government that is overweening, over intrusive, and bankrupting our country. So I invite all of you to enjoy the, the day. We're going to have two more speakers after myself. 
and there are a lot of fun things to do. My personal favorite is the pod in the corner there. You can shoot a tennis ball at the rate of 250 feet per second at some signs. One says taxes, one says debt, and I'm not sure what the third one says. You can also beat the heck out of an automobile back there called Government Motors. Yeah. And I am sure there are many more fun and interesting things to do. I know there's a treasure hunt, so please avail yourself and any kind of contribution is most welcome. I wanted to take just a moment and introduce myself. I'm Jim Waters, the Director of Policy and Communications for the Bluegrass Institute. Uh, I am the columnist for the Bluegrass Beacon and it's going out across the state and I'm very excited about the reaction to that. But considering our government's reaction to the economic waves, I had considered taking the route that Mr. Noseworthy did in a recent Mallard Fillmore cartoon. Of course, Mallard is the conservative anthropomorphic green feathered duck who works as a reporter for the fictional Washington TV station WFDR. <laughs> Mr. Noseworthy in this cartoon is Mallard's boss and he decides to call up his congressman one day and he's there on the phone in the comic strip. He says, hello, Congress. I'm an average guy who's always worked hard, paid my taxes, and lived within my means. Can I get some sort of bailout if I promise never to do those things again? <laughs> The Bluegrass Institute is a free market think tank dedicated to advancing freedom, defending liberty, and building a more prosperous Kentucky by empowering its citizens through education and research and forcing Kentucky policymakers to confront overspending and bad public policy. I want to encourage you to educate yourself. You know, uh, what was it somebody said one time? I could give somebody a fish to eat, or I could what? That's what we're doing. If we can teach you how to fish, if we can teach you how to respond to your legislators, if we can make you an informed citizen, that will be much better than anything else that we could do. Please sign up at our website to receive the Bluegrass Beacon that is now at every part of the Commonwealth. And while you're at the website, be sure to check out the Bluegrass Policy Blog and two other sites that I'm very excited that I think are very great tools to help us in our battle for liberty, and that is KentuckyVotes.org. How many of you are familiar with that? Got some? And our newest site... Uh, freedomkentucky.org that is a new wiki site uh, I'd encourage you to go check that out and uh, there's a table to, to my left down here Logan Morford is the director of our site and he will help show you how that works and uh, sign you up to be a contributor if you would like so we need your help in putting the heat on the politicians in Frankfurt by filing open records requests putting that information up in a site that everyone can go to and actually understand Stand. How many of you have ever tried to read anything the government puts out? But you can understand what we're putting out. Now, we have many great speakers and events today, but before we do that, let's hear it for the great co-host of this event. Along with the Bluegrass Institute, we have the Kentucky Club for Growth. Andy Hightower is here. I saw him somewhere. I think he was over there tossing stimulus funding into the toilet. <laughs> also, Campaign for Liberty. Let's hear it for them. <laughs> and my friend and the, one of the, we'll say more about this later, but he received a big award last night, but we'll say more about that in a minute. But uh, our uh, good friend, News Radio 630, WLAP talk show host, Leland Conway. <laughs> See, Leland, I saved my uh, high pitch for that one because I knew that would help you out there, brother. I do want to say today that I appreciate the fact that this is not a partisan event. Can I hear it? Yeah. And I would just say to the speakers and the participants, the best response you're going to get is a nonpartisan, we the people type of response, right? Yeah. 